Madras Lalatangi Vasanthakumari popularly referred to as MLV the 3rd of July 1928 to the 31st of October 1990 was a Carnatic musician and playback singer for film songs in many Indian languages MLV and her contemporaries DK Patamal and MS Subbulakshmi were popularly referred to as the female trinity of Carnatic music a prime disciple of the G. N. Balasubramaniam, she was the youngest among the established musicians of that era, and was the youngest female awardee of the Sangeeta Kalanidhi Award, as well as being a much sought after playback singer for films. MLV popularized unfamiliar ragas, and her ragam thanam pallavis were considered cerebral. Additionally, she popularized the compositions of the Haridasas. Her most famous disciples include Shridhya, her daughter, Sudha Raghunathan, Charumathi Ramachandran, A. Kanyakumari, V. Kaveri, Rose Muralikrishnan, Meena Subramanian, and Yamuna Aramugam. <laughs> Early life MLV was born to a musical family. Her father, Kuthanur Iyer Swami Iyer, was a noted musician while her mother, Lalithangi, was also a great musician. When Deshbandu Chitharanjan Das died in 1925, Lalithangi came out with a beautiful song by way of tribute to his national spirit and patriotism. A rare gramophone record made in England of her glorious voice rendering this song is said to be in V. Sundaram's private possession. MLV's school education was in Madras, in a convent, where all was set to pursue a medical career until the great Carnatic musician G. N. Balasubramaniam came into her life. He became her guru. In her own words, my parents had rendered yeoman service to Carnatic music. They were mainly instrumental in popularizing the compositions of Parandara Dasa in South India. They were not keen that I should enter the music field and gave me general education. But in the musical atmosphere of my house, I had ample opportunity of practicing vocal music. Once G. N. Balasubramaniam heard me sing and he prevailed upon my parents to place me under his tutelage. It was he who was responsible for the status I occupy in the music world today. <laughs> <laughs> Learning Carnatic music MLV was very privileged to learn Carnatic music from G. N. Balasubramaniam G. N. B. She was also G. N. B.'s first disciple. Indira Menon said that G. N. B. was a self-taught artiste, his racy style sparkling with brigas and nuances never heard before, revealed a new range of colors on the musician's palette. The brisk tempo unleashed by his powerful and pliable voice found many admirers and imitators among the younger generations, though it raised many an eyebrow among the senior vidwins. Was his music according to Sampradaya tradition or not, was the question that was frequently asked to answer. GNB was a genius, so much so that what might have seemed like a deviation from tradition was acceptable from him though it might not have been so from a lesser artiste. His personality, bold innovations and technical virtuosity became an inspiration for an entire generation of musicians. After GNB, speed and briga laden music became the vogue to the extent that to be true to one's self and to sing according to one's vocal capacity required a great deal of courage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Performing and recording career. In 1940, her mother Lalithangi gave a resplendent musical recital in Simla. MLV was then only 12 years old and made her debut by accompanying her mother. Two years later, MLV gave a solo recital in Bangalore. She also cut her first 78 revolutions per minute disc which many music lovers of that period recall vividly because it created a sensation. From then on she progressed in geometrical progression as a platform artiste and by 1950 she had established herself as a front ranker. A learned music critic has said that MLV brought the struggle of women in the world of music to a successful culmination. Her music had more male characteristics than that of any other female musician. Her own musical style and genius MLV imbibed much of GNB's style, but did not make a fetish of speed and struck out on her own and evolved an inimitable style. Endowed with a fluid voice and rich imagination, the initials MLV could be an acronym for her melody, Laya and Vidwit, the watchwords of her rare musical artistry that were an oral feast to both the lay and the conyashenti. 
Her leisurely, explorative and adventurous manner of handling ragas deserves special mention. While MLV was known more for her cerebral style, rather than her emotional style, this was compensated by her rich and original manadharma. Similarly to GNB, she was a genius in her tricky, instantaneous brilliant manadharma. Indira Menon comments MLV did adopt her guru's idea of a quick impressionistic sketch of the raga covering the two octaves at the start, but settled down to a reposeful elaboration, unfolding it gradually with her virtuosity in the form of briga cascades appearing only where necessary. She was careful not to carry to an excess what her versatile voice was capable of. MLV's mastery over vocal techniques was comprehensive and complete. She could effortlessly render several difficult ragas, with her alapana and kalpana swaras suitably embellished with Shruti Beta. Her listeners had the same ecstatic experience when she sang and more particularly when in a lightning manner she shifted gracefully from the melodic world of one raga in one pitch to another raga in another pitch. In this context one has to refer to raga combinations like Shanmakapriya Sankarabharanam, Bhairavi Kamas, Abhogi Vilaji to illustrate this point. In GNB's own words, Vasanthi typifies real discipleship, she absorbs all, but presents her own glorious creations. Parandaradasa tradition Lalithangi, MLV's mother had a vast repertoire of Parandaradasa. She passed on this tradition to her daughter MLV. As a result, like T. Brinda who brought Kshatreya Padams to the public platform and M. S. Subbalakshmi who brought Animacharya Kritis to the public arena, MLV popularized the Devaranamas of Parandaradasa. <laughs> Sindhubhairavi She popularized the composition Kalyana Gopalam, composed by Narayana Tirtha, in Raga Sindhubhairavi. She also popularized the composition by Parandaradasa in the same raga. Hindustani maestro Bade Ghulam Ali Khan was generous in his praise for her music. Sudha Raghunathan mentions, MLV Ama has told me that it was Bade Ghulam Ali Khan Saab who taught her the nuances of Sindhu Bhairavi in the Hindustani style. Ragam Thanam Pallavi MLV's forte was Ragam Tandam Pallavi where she not only maintained the great tradition brought to the stage by D.K. Patamal, but enriched it in her own unique way. A. Kenya Kumari who had accompanied MLV on violin for almost two decades says, MLV Akka had a sharp mind and good memory and I have never seen her practice a song or a ragam or for that matter a ragam Tandam Pallavi also before a concert. Sudha Raghunathan, a prime disciple of MLV, remarked that in all my twelve years of learning under her, I had never seen Amma practicing at home. But, to my great surprise, she would compose a Pallavi in the car on the way to the concert. <laughs> Playback singing By 1946, MLV was also a playback singer. Her first big hit was in the 1951 film Manamagal, where she sang the song Elam Inbamayam in Ragamalika, and Subramania Bharathiyar's evergreen composition, Chinankiru Kiliai. In the 1960 film Raja Desingu, MLV also sang another Ragamalika, Parkadal Alimele, which was well received, and later became popular in Bharathanatyam recitals. In later years, MLV would also sing these songs towards the end of her Carnatic music concerts, and today, many musicians often include them in their repertoire. MLV was also known for singing Aya Sami in the 1951 film, or Aravu. This song was based on the song Gore Gore from the film Samadhi, which was in turn based on the Latin American song Chico Chico from Puerto Rico, from the film Cuban Pete. In the 1952 film Thalem, MLV sang Kanjam Porave, which was based on the famous Hindi song, Thandi Havayan. Other songs MLV sang included Adisayam Vanathu Aravumayam, Senthamurai Kananai, Vana Tamiz, and Adam Arul Jathi in the films Vikramadithan, Vairamalai, Sornakili, and respectively. Incidentally, each of these songs contained the raga Kalyani and were also well received. MLV sang melodiously the Dasavatara song for bukelas like Manita Pavalinchu Nagasayana, while Kamala Kumari dancing in a classical way. She sang for films till 1970. 
Topic: <laughs> Personality. As one of the top-ranking platform artistes, MLV was noted for her charm, grace, warmth, self-restraint and humility. Her self-restraint as an artiste can be understood from her own words, Brigas in fast tempo should adhere to the sruti and above all, true music must touch the listener's heart. MLV however maintained a philosophy, a concert is a daily test of the caliber of a musician. A slight lapse may let the musician down and a constant vigil is essential. Accompanists Murdangam maestro Palghat Mani Iyer, in a rare gesture, accompanied her in concerts. MLV helped others including Manargudi Iswaran, Srimushnam V. Raja Rao, Sirkazi J. Skandaprasad, Tiravar Bhaktivathsalam, R. Ramesh, Karakudi Krishnamurti, G. Harishankar and more, establishing them by encouraging them and giving them opportunities to accompany her in concerts. Family MLV got married to late Kalimamani Vikatam R. Krishnamurti in the year 1951. They had a son, late K. Shankaraman and late K. Shridhya notable actress in Indian films. Disciples MLV taught her daughter K. Shridhya, who at the age of 10 was ready to perform and sang very much like MLV. Shridhya however, wanted to pursue a career in the film industry, and went on to become a notable actress in Indian films. MLV trained several other students, and many of them are the front-ranking musicians today. Some of the notable musicians who have studied under MLV include Sudha Raghunathan, A. Kanyakumari, Trichor V. Ramachandran, Yogam Santhanam, Charumathi Ramachandran, Rose Muralikrishnan, V. Kaveri, Vinaja Narayanan, T. M. Prabhavathi, Meena Sebramaniam, Jayanti Sridharan, Jayanti Mohan, and Bama Visvaswaran. She also taught music at Rishi Valley School started by Jidu Krishnamurti and Yamuna Uramugam who was a government scholar from Malaysia went under the Garukulavasam system to her for two entire years, she was also more like an own daughter to her. Saraswathi Srinivasan is the first disciple of MLV till the late 1960s. After marriage also Saraswathi Srinivasan jointly with MLV gave some concerts. Awards and titles In 1976, MLV was honored with a doctorate degree from Mysore University for her work with regards to Parandaradas's contributions to music. MLV also received the third highest civilian honor from the Indian government, Padma Bhushan. In 1977, at age 49, MLV became the youngest woman to earn the award and title in Carnatic music, Sangeeta Kalanidhi. She also received the Sangeetha Kalasahamani Award given by the Indian Fine Arts Society, Chennai in 1987. She received the Sangeet Natak Akademi Award in 1970. MLV was a front ranking artiste for more than 50 years. She died in 1990 at the age of 62. Beauty and sublimity were the cardinal characteristics of her music. <laughs> Playback singer She was a much sought after playback singer in the late 1940s till the mid 1960s. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music composers she sang for. She worked under C. R. Subaraman, S. M. Subaya Naidu, G. Ramanathan, S. Dakshinamurthy, K. V. Mahadevan, Veda, Chitter V. Nagaya, Pendiala Nageshwara Rao, T. Chalapathi Rao, Viswanathan Ramamurthy, S. Rajaswara Rao, R. Sudarshanam, R. Gavardhanam, T. R. Papa, S. V. Venkatraman, Kunakudi Venkatrama Iyer, G. Aswathama, T. A. Kalyanam, M. S. Nanamani, C. N. Pandurangan, C. S. J. Raman, G. Govindarajulu Naidu, T. G. Lingappa, K. G. Morthy, Gantasala, Master Venue, G. Aswathama, V. Dakshinamorthy, G. Devarajan, K. Raghavan and Shankar Jaikishan. Topic playback singers She sang with She sang a memorable duets mostly with Thiruchi Loganathan, Sirkazi Govindarajan and A. M. Raja. 
Others are M. K. Thyagaraha Bhagavathar, V. N. Sundaram, T. A. Mathi, C. R. Subaraman, C. S. J. Raman, G. K. Venkatesh, T. M. Soundararajan, P. B. Srinivas, K. S. George, V. Dakshinamorthy and K. J. Yasudas. She also sang duets with female singers with most notably with P. Leela and N. L. Ganesaraswati. Others are T. V. Rathanam, Radha Jaya Lakshmi, Sulamangalam Rajalakshmi, A. P. Kamala, P. Banumathi, Jiki, T. S. Bhagavathi, K. Jamuna Rani and A. G. Rathnamala. <laughs> 